The overall goal of this procedure is to acquire time-lapse images of primary rat neonatal cardiomyocytes following lentiviral and adenoviral transduction using confocal spinning disc microscopy. This is accomplished by first harvesting cardiomyocytes from rat pups and plating the cells on glass-bottom dishes. The next step is to perform transduction of EGFP-tagged Conexin-43 by lentivirus, followed by transduction of dominant-negative FGFR1 by adenovirus in the cardiomyocytes. The final step is to acquire time-lapse images using confocal spinning disc microscopy. Ultimately, a movie that is played back from acquired time-lapse images can be obtained that shows distribution of EGFP-tagged protein expressed by lentiviral genes in live primary cardiomyocytes under altered cell conditions by an adenoviral express protein dominant negative FGFR1. One of the main advantages of this technique is that you can do live cell time-lapse imaging using a spinning disc confocal microscope under desired condition following gene expression induced by adenoviral or lentiviral transduction. Uh, so this method can provide insight into right neonatal cardiomyocytes. It can also be applied to other systems such as primary mouse neonatal cardiomyocytes, primary right arm mouse adult cardiomyocytes, and other cultured cells. Generally, individuals new to microscopy will struggle to take well-focused images due to a slight drift in the stage over time. By using the machine's autofocus function, stable focus can be maintained.